So in this video, we've got a long distance runner who's been maintaining a speed of six meters per second. So then, um, in the last 15 seconds of the race, the runner increases his speed. How fast is he traveling when he crosses the finish line? So this shows the acceleration time graph of his motion, okay? In the last 15 seconds of the race. So it goes from 0.6 meters per second per second down to zero meters per second per second in those 15 seconds. Now, looking at this graph, it appears counterintuitive to what's going on. Because the acceleration has a negative gradient there, it then feels like, well, does that mean that he's slowing down? Well, no. Um, what it means is that at that instant, 15 seconds before the race ends, the runner immediately jumps to traveling at 0.6 meters per second per second, so increasing his speed. And his speed increases for those 15 seconds, okay? It's just that his acceleration is decreasing. So his rate at which his velocity is increasing is slowing down, okay? So that's the key concept there. So what is his final speed? Now, the area uh, of this triangle will tell you the... Uh, net change in the velocity, okay? So we can work out the change in velocity by working out the area of this triangle. So that's one half times the base times the height. So we've got 0 0.5 times 15 times 0 0.6, which gives us 4.5 meters per second. So that means that if they were traveling at t is zero initially at six meters per second, then they're going to cross the finish line traveling at six plus the 4.5 meters per second, and so 10.5 meters per second. Okay, that is how fast they will be traveling when they cross the finish line.